Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I'm a self-employed mama of four. My husband and I are on a journey to become debt-free using a zero-based budget and the cash stuffing method because our biggest goal is to invest wisely and give generously. So if you're interested in learning more, stay tuned. So today's video is another online spending video where I'm going to show you my process for pulling cash out of my sinking funds to deposit back into the bank for any online spending that I did in the last week. This video is actually going to cover the last two weeks because I was out of town last week and didn't get a chance to um, pull cash or do a cash stuffing video. And so there's going to be a couple more um transactions than normal because it's covering two weeks so i'm going to kind of hop right into this and my hopes is that this video will just help you know that it's okay to online spend while you're cash stuffing i personally like to keep a buffer in my checking account so that i know there's money in there should i choose to online spend and so um let's see here I write these down. I'm just going to kind of tell you my process ahead of time real quick. I write these down. I use an app called every dollar and it's through Dave Ramsey. Absolutely love Dave Ramsey. We've been using this budgeting app for almost four years and it's amazing. It links to your bank account. So anytime there's a transaction, whether it's a check, a deposit, a withdrawal, it doesn't matter. Um, that it will show up in the app and then you can drag and drop it into the correct category. So every week when I'm going through and categorizing all of our transactions, I will write down any online spending that I did that should come out of my sinking funds. And so that's kind of my process for this. Um, I just think that's the easiest way to track expenses. I could do it on pen and paper, which I do to an extent, but for the most part, I track on the app and then keep track of my online spending with this tracker so that I can then pull from my sinking funds. And so the first one on here is groceries from Sam's Club. So I'm going to pull that from the envelope here. And it looks like... So 109 is what I spent. I think it was actually 108 and some change, but I um, I always round up. So I'm just going to exchange this. And this is cash that I pulled from my savings challenges just to condense. And so I'm going to count out 10. This is really gross. Good thing we're depositing that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Just gonna double check that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we have a hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, gonna keep this one. So put that back in here. Or right, actually, that goes back in the envelope here. This will go back to the bank. Then we'll put the rest of this. Sorry if you can hear that water. My humidifier is. <laughs> refilling it is so dry up in here guys i am telling you winter i love it but it's brutal when it comes to that so the next one is clothing so that will be in high priority as well i bought bristol some shoes she is our one-year-old so i got her these really cool shoes that are not hard on the bottom like they're thick enough so they're like their shoes but they're also they bend so as like baby's foot feet develop um it helps them so it's not like so stiff inside the shoes and they can actually like like the shoes bend with their feet so they were 28 dollars so i'm gonna take 40 out of here all right and then um let's see we're gonna break up this here so 28 Five, six, seven. Okay, so we're going to put this 20 here. And now we have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So now we have smaller denominations to work with. So I, they were $28. So 20, 25, 26, 27, and 28 will go back to the bank. And then this will go back into my clothing envelope. All 
All right. So I'm gonna mark these off as I go so I don't get confused. Okay. Um, so my spending cash, I need to take $22. So I'm gonna grab that out of my wallet. So I have 60 in here, so 22 means I need to break this up. All right, so 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So 22 back to the bank and then this will go back in my wallet. I feel like I had 60, so why am I confusing myself? 10. I'm gonna back this train up real quick here. Maybe one of you guys caught it. I don't know why I'm confusing myself so much right now. So let's back this up. So we're gonna start over. Okay, so I had 60. And I need to break up this 20. So now we have 60 there still. Okay, I think I was right. I'm pretty sure I was right because 22 is what needs to go back to the bank. Yes, okay, I was right. 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, that makes sense, okay. going back to the bank. I don't know why that was so confusing for me. Okay. So then drops came out and drops is where I get my laundry detergent and dishwasher pods. Um, I think that's in low priority. I think I moved that one at the beginning of the year when I reorganized my envelopes here. And I don't think I have enough in this envelope, actually. We can check. If I don't, I'm going to leave it. 60, 80, 90, 100, 110. So I'm $13 short. So I'm going to leave this. And then next time I cash stuff and do my online spending, I will pull it then. Just because I don't want to mess anything up. So I'm not going to check that box. So then I'll know that I need to still pull that one. Okay, so next, when I was in Nashville, this is the one time I used my debit card, you guys. When I was in Nashville, I bought a couple things for my kids. And so, let's see here. We're going to grab that out of gifts. I'm still getting to know where all of my, there we go, all my envelopes are. Okay, so I spent 20, so we're just gonna take a 20. I think it was like 1988 is what I spent. So I just rounded it up to 20. All right, so then next is Ella's and that was a restaurant that we went to guys it was super expensive I did not choose the restaurant um and I don't think we have enough in eating out right now so I'm also going to leave that one and then pull next month when I do my cash stuffing um okay so then we have two transactions for household both were from Target so I must have um I ordered like Toilet paper, paper towels, dish soap, batteries, which batteries are so expensive. <laughs> but 
Oh, I swear like our kids, like their toys and stuff run out of batteries all the time. Like I'm always buying double A's. So I just like got a lot of that kind of stuff. And so um, it was two different dates about a week apart. Um, but one was 55 and one was 24. So that's 79. We have 50, 70, and then we are going to, hopefully I have, I'm going to grab some of this money that's going to the bank and condense it down. Sometimes I have to be creative, condense down some of these so I can use these ones. And I'm just, I'm not going to edit this part because I want you guys to see this process in case you're kind of like dealing with the same thing. Um, just as far as like needing to like be creative with your cash. <clears throat> so let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we're going to put this in here and then grab a 10 and a 5. So now I have more ones to work with. So we're going to put, see I need 79, this here, and we're going to grab five ones. One, two, three, four, and 5. So one will go back here and hopefully, so we should have. 79 and this is from our household so 50 70 75 6 7 8 and 9 so 79 back to the bank okay All right, so now we're gonna pull from baby needs because I talked in my last cash stuffing video that Target had their diaper sale. So I got a bunch of diapers that we don't need yet, but I always stock up because it's such a good deal. So you spend $100 on diapers and wipes and then you get a $30 Target gift card. So um, it's weird how they do the gift card though. So they charge you um, 70 it's like, you know, $70 for the diapers plus tax. And then, and then they charge you a $30 gift card instead of charging you a hundred dollars for the diapers and then giving you the gift card. It's weird. But anyway, so I used the gift card on groceries. So I put that $30 transaction into my grocery like category on my budgeting app. So then it makes the diapers and wipes only like $70. So that's what we're going to pull from here. Um, and it's a lot of diapers, you guys. Like I bought the next size up and she's not even near ready for the next size up, but we're so stocked up from last time. So it worked out great. So we have 80, we need, oh, I did 75. So I must've included in the tax. Okay, so 75, which means actually what I'm gonna do I'm just going to pull, so this is my pile going back to the bank. I'm just going to pull five out of here to make change and then put these 20s in here. Hopefully that made sense. <clears throat> I have this cold and I just feel like whenever I'm like stuffy, like with a cold, it makes my brain, I have brain fog. So I'm sorry if this video is a hot mess, but Hopefully it blesses someone out there. That's all I care about. All right, so we're gonna mark that one off here. And then the last one, this was kind of a random one. I could have put this in a household, but it has been so dang dry, you guys. Like we live in Minnesota and I love winter. I love snow. Like I'm looking outside right now. It is like clear skies. This We've got probably three or four or five feet of snow. It's just glistening white, beautiful, like wonderland outside. Um, however, the air gets so dry and 
um, my husband has a problem with bloody noses to begin with. And so, um, plus we are all like have scratchy throats because it's just so dry. And then it causes your like nose to get stuffed up. So then you sleep with your mouth open and then that makes your throat really dry. Um, not to mention like our skin is dry. Our lips are dry. So anyway, I invested in humidifiers for everyone's bedrooms and then one bigger one for our main area. We have an open concept home. And so this humidifier like covers all of that square footage and so the humidifiers for four bedroom ones and one living room one it was 162 so probably gonna like maybe condense this no i can't okay so that's what this is i didn't really know it was kind of like a last minute decision it wasn't something i budgeted for so i am just gonna take it out of our home renovations envelope because I want to, and I'm in charge here, so. <laughs> okay, so 162, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break this up. Um, so we're gonna do a 20, and then what do we have for fives? 20, 45, 30, 35, 40, 45. Um, I need 162. So here is so this should equal 50 if i did my math right so 20 25 30 35 40 45 46 47 48 49 and 50 and that 50 from this envelope i put here to condense and then i need to count out 162 so we have 100 150 155 160 and 162. I'm actually gonna get rid of some of these. Those are really, really wrinkly ones. All right. Okay, one, 150, 55, 60, 61, and 62 to pay ourselves back for those humidifiers. to make sure these are all in order here okay all right and that was the last one on my list so I'm gonna mark that one off and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through here and add up the ones that we did today and make sure that it matches the amount of cash I have Okay, so I went through and added up all of the ones that I did today, and I got 495, so now I'm just gonna count my cash, and hopefully I have $495 in my hand, because that means I did my math right and we have it all figured out. So um, 100, 150, 2, 250, 300, 320, 40, 60, 80, 400, 420, 440, 460, 470, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95. So 495. And so this I'm going to go deposit back into the bank to refill our buffer that we have in the bank. And then these last two transactions here, I will do those when I do my first February online spending um, process. So pulling from my sinking funds to deposit back into the bank. And this is just cash that I pulled from my $1 savings challenge. I like to keep it in here because then I can use it for condensing, which is nice. So I'm just going to put that back in here. And I hope this video was helpful just to explain the process for online spending and to make it just more easy and seamless for you. If you've got questions though, definitely ask them in the comments below. I always try to go back and answer every single comment and um, make sure that you are fully supported in your financial journey. So thank you for watching. We'll see you in my next video.